Hey, what's up everyone? It's Sporty Spend 17 here. Oh boy, we got a little bit to talk about. It's been a while since I've I've talked about the Utah Jazz. It's been since the draft. A lot has happened since the draft, especially in the world of NBA rumors. Now, I kind of avoided doing this video. I was going to talk about this eventually. You know, it's it's uh, there's a lot of Larry Markkinen trade rumors going on around right now, and it's a, it's a lot harder than it used to be. Like I remember back at the trade deadline, it was there was some here and there, here and there, but then this time it's like no teams are actually offering for. Larry Markin and offering uh, apparently substantial offers. Uh, I'm not sure what those offers look like or what they are, but it's definitely something that we as jazz fans probably don't really like. Uh, now there's definitely a lot of different al alleyways and theories of which way Danny Ainge and everything's going. Um, but for the most part, don't see them trading him and waiting until the extension. That's just me. Uh, now, I do understand that there is value in trading Larry Markkinen, especially as good as he is. Uh, let's say the, the Warriors are the biggest name out there. Now, they seem very desperate. Klay Thompson just left. Of course, they're going to try to go after someone and keep their hopes alive, especially when they still have Steph Curry. But it's it's just, um, I really don't think that they're, tra they're trading what Danny Age wants to trade. We can go into details about the picks that they have and if Kaminga's involved. Uh, so far, Danny Age hasn't pulled the trigger on any trade, so I'm not going to go into any trade theories or what they might be. But I'm just saying that it's... I can look at this as one way and say that Jazz have someone with extreme value on their team and he wants to stay in Utah. So the Stein line on Twitter said, uh, Larry Markkinen wants to remain in Salt Lake despite the circumstances and despite the fact that the seven foot fin by all accounts wants to stay in Salt Lake City is the quote from it. I've never, <laughs> I, don't, I don't even think in my lifetime the Jazz have had an all-star player that wants to actually stay in Utah for his career. And we had John Stockton, Carmel, but I was born in 99. Last time that they made the finals was 98, so I am probably the curse. Sorry guys. It's interesting because the Jazz are so young. They have six guys on their team right now that are either in their first year or their second year. And then there's Larry Markkinen who's 27 years old. And then you have John Collins, Jordan Clarkson. There's just all these different things that the Jazz are, we just don't know what they're doing exactly. And uh, we might not for a while. Larry Markkinen, the trade rumors, floating around i think we're going to hear hear them until he gets extended now his extended date is august 6th is that's the day that he's eligible to sign this extension so that's a month away so we're probably going to be hearing all these trade rumors for the next month unless if for some someone comes out with this crazy valuable trade tony jones has said many times i i, I repeat many times over the past nine months the jazz do not want to trade Larry Markkinen, but they will trade him if someone completely just blows him away with a trade. And these rumors have been at the peak for the past like five days, I'd say. And so far, no one has gotten that yet. No one has given Danny Ainge what he wants. And Justin Zanuck, I should throw in there because he's the general manager as well. So it's there's just all this different things going on. Now there's rumors that they try to get Mikel Bridges to come to the Jazz. And of course, the Knicks traded five first round picks for that. And then they were thinking about getting Mikel Bridges so that they could lure Paul George in, which I don't think would have ever happened even if they got Mikel Bridges. They might be going down a different route, but it can still involve Larry Markkinen and building around him. Uh, it's just this year, I, I do see us tanking, actually. I know the last video that I said, the Jazz will go 41 and 41, but that was before I really thought about this and have seen um, before free agency and everything. The Jazz probably gonna tank pretty hard this season. This draft is great. We have three draft picks, three first round draft picks this, um, this upcoming draft. So there, we might be in it for a while, but Larry Markkinen wants to stay, even though we're tanking. What, what NBA player do you know is an all-star level player that is okay with staying on a super young team and helping them win. The, the Jazz want to win, Larry Markkinen wants to win. Uh, is Larry Markkinen the type of player 
that wants to get thrown into a winning situation or is he the type of player that wants to help build something special and win that way there's good reasons why we would trade larry marketing there's good reasons why we'd keep him and i think that uh, danny ainge and justin zanuck the whole front office is going to give it just he's going to give it a ton of thought we'll see what happens who knows maybe the next week he'll be gone or who knows maybe five years from now we'll have a championship with larry marketing there's so much that could that could happen that comes from a player like Larry Markkinen. Now, I do want to say congratulations to the Finland basketball team. Uh, I know that they lost to Spain today, uh, but they put up a really big fight and I'm proud of them. I, I, I try to follow them. I followed them last year, followed them a little bit this year, a little less because Larry wasn't playing for them, but uh, they almost took down Spain, which I believe is was like the second ranked team in the qualifying tournaments uh so congratulations to them i also want to show you guys some things so i got these liar marketing cards look at that that one's pretty cool i like that one and then this one's cool too i like this one as well those are the two cards i got i also have also got this this is a sporty spend 17 sticker and i kind of want to find a way to get these stickers to you guys i'll let you know in later videos if i figure out a way but hey thank you all for your support huge liar marketing fan right here also a huge Utah Jazz fan. I will say, if Larry Marketing were to get traded, I would still follow him completely, probably even buy a new jersey if he gets on a different team. It would be really hard for me to buy a Larry Marketing Warriors jersey, though. I, okay, if any Warriors fans are watching this video, I'm sorry. I have a hard time with you guys. You're a lot like Lakers fans. There, I said it. Um, but, anyways, this has been Sports Fan 17. Thank you all for watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you love all things Utah Jazz or if you're just a Larry Marketing fan. Uh, thanks, everyone.